February already. Are you still on your resolutions? I am not, cause I never made any. I believe every day can be day one if you want it to be. Life seems easier if we think we have it together, right? There's this new thing that I'm doing. It's called weekly resets. I don't know what you wanna call it. So I do this to get back in order, or at least try to get back in order. I set the mood for the week. I run a bunch of errands and just do a bunch of things to refresh my mind to trick my mind into thinking that i have plenty of time until i get back into chaos some of you who have been watching me maybe before 2021 they know this is where i used to live before when i used to stay in mumbai so much nostalgia and i am actually here for a few weeks for work and stuff so my suitcases are still you know unpacked and packed everything is you know in between boxes and suitcases so the homely vibe is missing because nobody lives here but home is a feeling it's not a place right i just have to like do a few little changes and then this will be you know good as new i just need to tidy this up a little bit and i wanted to do that today i also wanted to like wash my hair make a to do list because i have been feeling really disoriented mismanaged i feel like i don't have time to do anything so i need to like get everything in order so i'm going to do all that today and i want to take you all with me hope that's okay with you so for breakfast today i am having podi idli from a new restaurant and it was honestly not that great i did not enjoy my breakfast i usually have idlis or something similar because i have noticed i have gained some weight during winter season and who doesn't love idlis I'm having a nice cup of coffee it will really recharge me for the day Now I have to wash my hair and do a nice weekend bath and nothing feels as great as clean cold hair and body on weekends I add some more steps to a shower routine I think you should pamper yourself once in a while it feels just so great and just sets the mood for the whole day Mumbai water hates my hair there's just so much difference in my hair when I am here and in Jammu it's so rough and fluffy no matter what I do if I follow the same exact routine in jammu in my home my hair is so soft and nice and here they are just not behaving now this is my daily skin care i do it every single day so nothing special i'm doing i would have tried some face mask but i don't have any with me right now i accidentally slept with my makeup on like 3 days ago and this happened so annoying the weather is still a little chilly and it's a little dry as well and i feel like people usually ignore their lips like lip care but that is the part that gets affected the most so on weekends like today i like to scrub my lips with the wow himalayan rose natural lip scrub it contains 100% pure rose oil and natural exfoliants that help to remove dry and dead skin it is such a nice scrub you can actually see rose petals inside and it's full organic so what i do is i take a scoop using the spatula and uh, just this much and i just apply it on my lips and rub like this in a gentle circular motion it removes all the dead and dry skin that's on your lips i can literally feel my lips have become you know softer i do this for a good 1 minute 1 or 2 minutes and just gently wipe off with a cotton pad my lips feel super soft and supple and they look more pink i've seen the pigmentation improve with regular use and then i'm using the himalayan rose natural lip balm this one is also infused with pure rose oil and kokum butter but this you can use your fingers also or the spatula again and just take very little and apply it on the lips I love this one especially because it's non-greasy and it's so shiny. Plus, my lips feel so smooth and soft and supple. And you know, I'm done with my skincare. These amazing products are free of harmful chemicals, 
parabens, silicones and all that stuff and they also do not have mineral oils or beeswax. If you want to purchase these lip products, there's a link in my description that you can check out. This is the most important thing. I'm gonna have to make to-do lists for today and for the whole week. Just set goals and make sure I don't forget important tasks. I actually do these every day, sometimes two to three times a day. I am obsessed with making to-do lists. Even if I don't complete them, I just make sure I'm not forgetting anything. I have things in the back of my mind. Now I have to brainstorm some ideas for my content. It seems funny, but it is a serious work, at least for me. I've been feeling really blocked creatively, so I'm gonna try and do this often. And I actually ended up putting down some 30 to 35 ideas. That's a lot. So as I've already shared with you, nobody lives here while I'm gone. So it just gets packed, unpacked every time. And I just wanted to organize it a little to have some peace of mind. I cannot function if the room is messy see it gives me so much anxiety just having things in place makes it so much better for me Finally, I'm actually done. The room is organized, my hair is washed, my week is planned. Everything seems great for now. I really hope you liked this video. If you did, then please don't forget to leave a like and also subscribe to my channel if you want to. And once again, I am reminding you to try out uh, the Wow Himalayan Rose lip products. Uh, the link is in my description. This is me signing off for now. I will definitely see you next time. Take care, bye. Mwah.